this time of year with Christmas, <laughs> kind of making me feel like a bit of a failed mother. Look! <laughs> Carla and her baby son, Remy, have been living on her parents' sofa for a year. She can't afford to rent privately, even though she works, and will make a saving on national insurance. We was looking at private rent, and as it was one of our options, and it was still a £1,000 a month just for the rent. Just for the rent. Yeah. And before we even think about energy bills and... Yeah. And is that just completely out of reach? Yeah, definitely, especially being a part-time single mum. <laughs> The Chancellor is hoping areas like this hear loud and clear that tax cuts are coming. The measures announced today will put money in some people's pockets, but here in Dudley South, a target seat for Labour, whether it's families or those who run a business, people are telling us the struggle with the cost of living has never been harder. Self-employed traders will also get a national insurance cut, but say footfall is down and overhead soaring. When we started this company about 10 years ago, our energy costs were about 15% of our rent costs, but now we're approaching the 70% mark. Now, if that's not an elephant in the garden, I don't know what is. Everything, everything's gone up. The big stores can manage, but people like us, you know, we struggle. So I'm glad I'm at the age I am and where well, I am because I would never start out in butchery again, never, ever. Um, it's just t too tough to run your own business now. If you was just starting out now, you wouldn't survive. Better news for the elderly, the state pension will get a £17 a week increase next year. Will it help you a bit? Well, it'll help, but virtually, against the price of the bills, it's going to be nothing, is it, to drop in the ocean? <laughs> It's a government trying to signal there are better times ahead, but hard-pressed families wondering if it all adds up. Tomorrow, Cohen, Sky News, Dudley.